Good afternoon and welcome. We are coming to you from Fancer Field here in Rochester, Indiana. Tonight we have the Northfield Norse in town for a TRC matchup with your Rochester Zebras. Final instructions getting set here. We're getting ready to go. Should be a great game here. Rochester setting at one and two in conference play. Looking to get back to 500 if they can get the win here tonight versus the Norse. Northfield is the reigning 1A state champion, but they graduated a uh, pretty good chunk of their team from last year. So they're working on uh, rebuilding here this year, having uh, a little bit of trouble, and we're getting ready to go. We'll turn it over to Randy Wynn for the starting lineups. And Rochester, Zebra. Turn the starting lineup first for our guests, Batting first play left field, number 15, Krista Kowalska. Batting second play in the center field, number two, Abby Wood. At shortstop, and batting third, number 23, Emily Pennington. In right field, batting clean up number 18, Kristen Wright. At third base, number 22, batting fifth, J.C. Crump. Catching this afternoon for the lady, Norris, number 25, and batting sixth, Ella Hunter. The designated player batting in the seventh spot, number five, Avery Schreier. She'll be batting for the Crest Bar, the pitcher number 32, Emma Wilcox. At second base, batting eight, number 16, Leslie Gale. And in the red line spot, the first base at number 20, Ava Copeland. And now for the show lineup here on the Rochester Lady Zebra. Batting first, playing second base, number seven, Emma Sell. Catching this afternoon, and batting second for the Lady Zebras, number 12, Kelly Watson. At shortstop, and batting third, number three, Emma Hottershell. In the clean up spot for third base, number one, Kylie Coleman. Batting fifth, and playing center field, 23, Sid Hall. In the circle this afternoon for the Lady Zebras, and batting six, number 27, Mia Hottershell. Batting seven point right field number 11, uh, Keaton Boring. The catching lady player batting eight will be number 17, Haley Durgis. She is playing for the batting for number five, Maddie Heinzman. She'll be playing third base. And the number nine spot will be the left fielder, number 10, Darren Strasser. Go so, uh, please rise, gentlemen, remove your caps for the plate of our national anthem. So here we go, top of the first, Kowalchuk, Rosine, and Pennington going to be your first three batters for the Northfield Norse. Freshman Mia Howdeshell starting off in the circle for Rochester here tonight. Callie Watson behind the plate. Maddie Heinzman at first base. Emma Sells at second base. Emma Hadeshell playing short. Coleman at third. Dara Strasser out in left. Sid Hawes in center. And 
Keaton Doran in right field tonight for the Rochester Zebras. All right, here we go. Krista Kowalchuk, the left fielder, are going to start off for the Norse. And we are underway, and the first pitch is in low, ball one. This is high, three balls, no strikes to the leadoff, Kowalchuk, Addie Rosine on deck. So leadoff is aboard. Kowalchuk walks on four pitches. Rosen up to bat. Pennington on deck. And Watson down to third, second. And picked off on the play is Kowalczyk for out number one. Great throw there from Kelly. That one catches the outside corner. One ball and one strike to Rosen. Pennington on deck. Ellen knuckled out into right field, and Rosen's going to be in with a hit. That makes that play at second even bigger now. They would have runners at first and second, or possibly the corners, with no outs. Instead, they do have one on with one out. Emily Pennington, the shortstop, up to bat. How to shell misses low on that one. Kirsten Reif, right fielder, on deck for the Norse. Misses inside and moving over to second is Rosine. Two balls, no strikes to Pennington. Nice pitch, swing and a miss, strike one. That one hit over the head of the first baseman. 
Out into right field and coming in to score is Rosine. So the Norse strike first on the board, 1-0. Rife with one on, one out, and Crum on deck. Fouled off, strike one. Over to Sells, play to first in time, out number two. Runner advances over to second. That'll bring up third baseman, 22, J.C. Crum, Ella Hunter on deck. Over to How to Shell, over to first in time for out number three. The Northfield Norse score one in the top of the first on one hit, no errors. After a half an inning, it is Northfield one, Rochester nothing. When we come back, it's going to be Sells, Watson, and Emma Hadeshell up for the Rochester Zebras. All right, moving into the bottom of the first, the Norse lead 1-0 after a half. In the circle starting off here for the Norse. Is going to be Emma Warnock, number 32. Emma is a freshman for Northfield, so we got a pair of freshman hurlers starting off the game for both teams. She's going to face the sophomore second baseman, Emma Sells, up first here for the Zebras. Warnock delivers the first pitch in for a ball. That one misses high as well, ball two. And Warnock gets the corner on that one. Strike one, three balls, one strike, two cells. Fouled off, strike two, count is full for cells. Good job of uh, battling back here by Warnock. She was down 3-0. Has forced a full count here. And the payoff pitch. 
And Sells able to fight that one off, fouls it off. Shoots that one over to third and in time for out number one. Five three grain out for Emma Sells brings up the catcher, Callie Watson. Shortstop Emma How to Shell on deck. First pitch to Watson is in for a strike. Misses high, one and one. Watson fouls that one off, stays alive. One ball, two strikes. Shoots that one out into left field. She's going to be on with a base hit. Good job there by Watson, fighting off a couple of pitches and getting on. So one on and one out for Emma Howdeshell, the shortstop. Kylie Coleman on deck. Out of shell gets ahead in the count here. Two balls, no strikes. Warnock gets that one in for a strike. So three balls and one strikes. Shows bunt. Strike two. Count is full here for How to Shell. And that's going to be a walk. And moving over to third is Watson. And advancing to second is How to Shell. So runners at the corners for Kylie Coleman with Sid Hawes on deck. Misses four ball one. That one slap foul. Count goes to one and one.
This is low and inside. Two balls, one strike. And the walk loads the bases up for Sid Hawes, Mia Hadashell on deck. If you're Coach Kyle France, this is not who you want to see coming to the plate with the bases loaded for the Rochester Zebras. Sid crushes one out into left field. One run is in. Rounding and scoring is Emma Hadashell. Two runs in, two RBI, single, four Hawes. Coleman moves over to second. And the Zebras take the lead. 2-1. Miata Shell takes that one for strike one. Zebras have runners on first and second. Still just one out here in the bottom of the first. Miata Shell gets behind in the count. No balls, two strikes. One misses outside. Just misses. Two balls, two strikes. Good patience by the freshman Mia How to Shell. Keaton Doran is on deck. Hadashell pokes one over to short. A little underhand toss to second for one. Hadashell is going to be in. A fielder's choice gets Hawes at second. Coleman moves to third. And that will bring up Doran. How to shell will move over to second. So runners at second and third now for the Zebras. Two outs with uh, two runs across here in the bottom of the first for Rochester. In for strike two, Durkis on deck. Dorn, the number seven hitter, playing right field tonight for the Zebras. That one is fouled off, so Doran able to fight it off, stays alive. One ball, two strikes. Stays alive again, fouling it off. Thank you. 
Back to the pitcher, Warnock, over to first in time for out number three. The Zebras get two runs on three hits. No errors as we move into the top of the second. Rochester leads 2-1 over the Norse after one. We'll be back here in just a moment on RTC TV4. Welcome back here to Fansler Field as we move into the top of the second. Rochester gets two across in the bottom of the first and leads Northfield 2-1 here after one. So coming up for the Norse, it's going to be the catcher, Ella Hunter, leading off Avery Schreider, the designated player, batting second. And Ainsley Dale, the second baseman, will be batting third for the Norse. It's going to be their six, seven, eight hitters here facing Mia Hadeshell. A little knuckler. Hadeshell over in time makes the play. Nice little shuffle over to first in time for out number one. That'll bring up number five, Avery Schreider. A junior for the Norse. First pitch from How to Shell in for a strike. This is low, one ball and one strike. Schreider is DP in tonight for the pitcher Emma Warnock. Is fouled off. Two balls, two strikes. One goes back to the fence. Schreider stays alive. Two, two. Fouls another one off, back out of play. Swing and a miss. Strike out number one for How to Shell. That is two down here for Rochester in the top of the second. Bringing up second baseman number 16, Ainsley Dale. Ainsley, a senior for the Norse. First offering from How to Shell misses low, ball one. Ava Copeland on deck, first baseman. How to Shell gets behind 3 0 here to Ainsley Dale. And Dale on with a two out walk. That'll 
That'll bring up Copeland, her first at bat of the afternoon. The number nine hitter with Kowalchuk on deck. Two outs, one on here for the Norse. Shot over, Heinzman stabs it, touches the base. Four out, number three. Good job there at first by Maddie Heinzman getting the third out. That will retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. Top of the second. When we get back, we will move to the bottom of inning number two. It will be Durkis, Strasser, and Sells up for the Zebras when we get back here on RTC TV4. All right, as we move into the bottom of the second, freshman Haley Durkis going to lead him off. Number eight hitter, DPing for Maddie Heinzman at first. Darius Strasser, another freshman, will be batting next left fielder. Followed by Emma Sells back up to the top of the order for the Zebras. Eric Sarver behind the plate tonight. I cannot see, tell who is out at first. Sorry about that. There's a shot over to third and over to first in time. Durkis grounds out, 5-3, four out, number one, bringing up the freshman, Dara Strasser. Strasser, a left-handed hitter for the Zebras, coming up to the plate for the first time here in the bottom of the second. Emma Sells is on deck for the Zebras. Shows bunt. Ball is wide. Ball one. Shows bunt. Pulls the bat back, but that one in for a strike. Beautiful night here at Fancer Field, Rochester. Kind of starting to feel like spring, finally. We are getting uh, down there. We're in May. Of course, the draw came out on uh, yesterday, actually, on Sunday. And it's going to be a rematch. Rochester taking on as a bunt foul strike two the rochester zebras will be taking on tippecanoe valley for the second year in a row this time in round number one over at wabash two faced off last year in the semi-final round with valley winning of course the vikings would fall short in the championship game to whitco Whitco is the uh, has the bye, and they will wait the winner of the Valley and Rochester game. So Strasser takes that one for a ball. So it's a full count here for Darius Strasser. Warnock steps up onto the rubber, sets, delivers the three-two pitch. Strasser, and that's going to get by second base for a hit. And Dara Strasser is aboard with one out. <laughs> so that will bring up Emma Sells with Kelly Watson on deck.
And the speedy Dara Strasser takes second. That pitch was outside for a ball. So Strasser steals second. One ball and no strikes here for Emma Sells. Sells grounded out to third. That's going to drop in for a base hit. And uh, that good thing there, Strasser had the steal because that could have been a force out at second. Instead, it is a hit for Sells. She is aboard. Runners at first and second for Callie Watson. Callie singled and scored her first time up back in the first inning. Emma How to Shell on deck for the Zebras. That one misses outside. Two balls, no strikes. Warnock not uh, really interested in giving Callie Watson anything in the strike zone, but she can't really pitch around her. She's got Emma Hodeshell, Kylie Coleman, Sid Hawes, so she's going to have to give her something here to either make her swing or find a, a way to get a strike. That is ball three. Three balls, no strikes. Danger of walking. The base is loaded here with Emma Hodeshell coming up next. Watson with the take on that one. Three balls, one strike. Watson, and that's going to get by the third or the shortstop out into left. One run is going to score. Strasser comes home to score, and we have runners at second and third. That one in for strike one to how to shell. I'm gonna score that as an E6. Shot over, good backhand by the shortstop. Stretch at first. Not in time. How to shell is safe. We're going to call that an infield hit. And that's going to bring two runs in. Five one here in the bottom of the second with one out. How to shell. And the ball gets away, in with the steal. Might have been there in time, but the shortstop not able to make the play. Actually, the second baseman not able to catch that cleanly. How to shell in with the steal. One on, still just one out. And how to shell moves over to third with another steal. So we have a timeout. Coach France wants to uh, talk things over with his freshman pitcher Warnock. The infield into the circle. Zebras lead 5-1 in the bottom of the second. Still just one out.
All right, heading it wrong. One, one, one. It's two zero. Oh. Swing over to third in time out. But how does Shell scores? So two outs, nobody on for Sid Hawes with Mia Hattishell on deck. In for a strike, one ball, two strikes. A swing and a foul ball. Count stays at one and two. Two balls, two strikes. Oz had a two RBI single back in the first. Shot over to third, gets past third, short, able to get it in time. Great stretch over there at first base by Ava Copeland, and that is out number three. The Zebras score four runs on three hits. Nobody left on. One error by the Norris in the bottom of the second. And after two, it is Rochester six, Northfield one. Moving into the top of the third, back to the top of the order for the Norse. Kowalchuk, Rosine, and Pennington will be up when we come back here on RTC TV4. And the first pitch in to Kowalchuk is wide for ball one. The left fielder walked to lead the game off, but got uh, picked off, stealing the second. Well, on our way to a second walk here, three balls, no strikes. Fouls that one back off the fence, three and one. And that one misses. 
So Kowalczyk walks for the second time here in the game. Bringing up the center fielder, Addy Rosine. Had a single and scored for the Norse back in the first. Pennington is on deck. Shows butt, goes foul. Strike one. But, and again, goes foul. No balls, two strikes. Trying to drop that down the third base line and uh, dribbled foul again for Rosen. That one gets away from Watson and moving down to second is Kowalchuk. On the wild pitch. And Hadashell gets it in there for a strike. And out number one, Rosine goes down. It's going to bring up the shortstop, Emily Pennington. Pennington had an RBI single scoring Rosen in the first. Sends that one out into, well, didn't make it out of the infield. How to shell makes the catch at short for out number two. Now bring up Rife with Crumb on deck. Nice pitch from How to shell. Strike one. That one into shallow center. Coming over from right field is Doran to make the catch. Four out number three. No runs, no hits, no errors in the top of inning number three as we move into the bottom of the third. The score remains Rochester six, Northfield one. It's going to be Mia Howdeshell, Keaton Doran, and Haley Durkis for the Zebras when we get back. You're watching RTC TV4. All right, Mia Howeshell going to lead off for Rochester here in the bottom of the third. Mia had a single her first time up back in the first. Made it over to second before Doran grounded out to the pitcher for the final out of the inning. Zebra's leading 6-1 here after two and a half innings. Had a shell back to the pitcher, knocked down. Not able to make a play.
I'm going to say that's an E1. That would have been an easy out if that play was made. There's a shot. A little dribbler over to second. Not going to be in time. Hadashell makes it in safe at third. Doran on. We're going to give her an infield hit with that one. Hadashell moves over to third. That'll bring up the designated player, Haley Durkis. First pitch is wide for ball one. Okay, that's out number two. I missed something there. I think Doran ended up getting called out there at first. Sorry about that. And Strasser is up. Fouls off the first pitch. I apologize. I thought she was in at first. They must have uh, called her out there. Sorry. So two outs, 0-1 here to Strasser. 7-1 the score, Zebras with the lead. And Strasser beats out the bunt. Gets in with the infield single. And that brings us back up to the top of the order for the Zebras. Emma Sells coming up to the plate. Emma is one for two on the afternoon. She grounded out to third and got a single and scored back in the second. Strasser in safe at second with the steal. Not a whole lot of catchers that are going to throw out Dara Strasser if she tries to steal. She has got some serious wheels. Sells fouls that one out. One ball, one strike. Dribbler over to third, and it's going to be dropped. Strasser scores. Sells moves over to second. E3. So two outs and one on for Callie Watson with Emma Hadashell on deck. Watson way ahead on that first one, out of bounds. Foul ball, strike one.
drops in for strike two. There's a shot out in the center field, gonna drop in for a hit. Watson rounds first and in to score is Sells. So RBI single for Watson. Makes the score 9-1. That'll bring up Emma Hudeshell. One for one, she had a walk in the first, shot over to third in time for out number two, three, sorry. Three runs on one, two hits for the Zebras, two errors by Northfield in the bottom of the third. And after three, Rochester leads Northfield 9-1. When we come back, it's going to be Crum, Hunter, and Schreider up to bat for the Northfield Norse. So the Rochester Zebras just uh, adding a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here. Uh, added three more in the bottom of the third. Now lead Northfield 9-1. Been uh, getting production uh, throughout the lineup. Uh, bottom of the lineup, top of the lineup, middle of the lineup have all uh, had some uh, big hits for the Rochester Zebras here tonight. For Northfield, it is going to be Crum here in the top of the fourth. And she grounded out to short back in the first. This is only her second plate appearance of the evening. Ella Hunter. And Avery Schreider, the first three batters for the Norse. And the first pitch from Mia Hattershell is down low for a ball. And a swing and a miss from Crum, strike one. Shot over and caught at third for the first out. Great play there by Kylie Coleman. Four out number one. That's going to bring up Ella Hunter, the catcher. Ella grounded out to How to Shell back in the second inning. Swing and a miss, strike one. Popped up, almost making the catch is Watson just right off the tip of her glove. No balls, two strikes. Great job there by Callie Watson, just a hair short on that one. That would have been a spectacular play. That one is caught by Sells. That was a great play there at second by Emma Sells for out number two. Zebra's defense coming alive here in the fourth. That'll bring up number five, Avery Schreider. Schreider struck out in her only plate appearance back in the second inning. And 
Yeah, good job there. Framing that one catches the outside corner for strike one. Swing and a miss. Great pitch there. That one looked like a little bit of a drop ball by Hadashell. Hadashell ahead now in the count. Zero balls, two strikes. And uh, Schreider able to keep that one alive. Fouls it off. And a strike on the swing. Strikeout number three for How to Shell. And the Norse go down one, two, three in the bottom of, or top of the fourth. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left on base. After three and a half, Rochester leads Northfield 9 1. And we'll be back in just a moment here on RTC TV4. Back here at Fansler as we move into the bottom of the fourth. Rochester leads Northfield 9-1. It's going to be Coleman, Hawes, and Mia Hadashell, the first three batters for the Rochester Zebras here in the bottom of the fourth. Kylie Coleman walked in the first, had a sacrifice ground out RBI in the second. Emma Warnock, the freshman, remains in the circle for the Norse here as we move into the bottom of the fourth. This is wide, one ball, one strike for Coleman. Slap the foul, strike two. Coleman, one of five juniors on the team. There are no seniors on this Rochester Zebra lineup. Only one sophomore. And Coleman shoots that one out and caught in left field. Sent it for a ride, but out there in left, making the catch for the Northfield Norse is Kowalczyk. Four out, number one. That'll bring up the center fielder, Sid Hawes. Sid had a two, bar, two RBI single in the first, grounded out in the second. And another shot out to Kowalczyk. Four out, number two. And that'll bring up the freshman, Mia Hadashell. So I mentioned the juniors and sophomores. Hadashell, one of four freshmen in the lineup. And Hadashell grounds out to the shortstop for out number three. So the Zebras go down one, two, three here in the bottom of the fourth. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left on base for the Zebras. After four, the score remains Rochester nine, Northfield one. We'll take a break and be back here in just a moment. You're watching RTC.
All right, back here moving into the top of the fifth. It's going to be Ainsley Dale, Copeland, and Kowalczyk. First three batters for the Norse. Mia Hadeshell in the circle for the Zebras. She started the game here as uh, only allowed one run here through the first four innings. For Ainsley Dale, she walked her only played appearance back in the second inning. First pitch from How to Shell in for a strike. That went off of the uh, knob of the bat there. Foul ball. You don't see that uh, every day. Of course, we did see the one of the odder foul balls uh, ever was the one over at Valley last week where the ball went behind the batter and hit the bat and went foul as it was on the batter's shoulder. And Dale goes down with the strikeout from How to Shell for out number one. That'll bring up the first baseman, Ava Copeland. Grounded out to first. Her only plate appearance in the second inning. On deck is the leadoff hitter, Kowalczyk. Two O count here to Copeland. Fouled off. Nice pitch from How to Shell. It gets back even. Two balls, two strikes. How to Shell had fallen behind 2 0 and has fought back now to 2 2. And misses that one low, so a full count here to Ava Copeland. How to shell misses, so Copeland will walk. Bringing up Kowalchuk, the leadoff batter, left fielder. She's walked her both uh, both of her plate appearances in the first and the third. First pitch from How to Shell is a ball, so 1 and 0 count here to Kowalczyk. And over to third. And in time for out number one on the fielder's choice. That moves Copeland over to second. Two outs now for Addie Rosine. Shot over to third is caught there at third base. 
by Kylie Coleman. Four out, number three. So no runs, no hits, no errors. One runner left on base for the Norse in the top of the fifth. As we move into the bottom of inning number five, the score remains Rochester nine and Northfield one. We'll be back here in just a moment on RTC TV4. Back here at Rochester Fansler Field as we move into the bottom of the fifth. Seven, eight, nine up for the Zebras. Doran, Durkis, and Strasser. Zebras need two here in the bottom of the fifth, and they can send this one, uh, finish this one early. Lead nine to one. Doran is 0 for 2 on the afternoon. And shoots that one over to short. That is caught there by Pennington for out number one. That'll bring up Haley Durkis. 0 for 2 as well. Grounded out to third and the pitcher. That one not able to make the play at short. So Durkis is aboard. Oh, I'll give her the credit of the benefit of the doubt there. I think that was going to be a tough play. So we'll give that an infield a single. Bringing up Dara Strasser. Two for two. Scored both times. Back in the second and third for the freshman Dara Strasser. Thing is, she gets on base. She's not going to stay at first. And she's uh, done a great job of moving herself along the bases. And putting herself into scoring position for the Zebras. The winning run for Rochester is at the plate. Game ending run, I guess you would say. I believe that's one and one. I didn't see him call a strike on that first pitch. That one is fouled back. One ball, two strikes. Yep. When this is outside, two and two. A pair of freshman pitchers going at it here tonight with the Norse and the Zebras. Emma Warnock for the Norse and Mia Hattishell for the Zebras. Swing and a miss. Strasser goes down swinging. Uh, that's the first strikeout for Warnock. Out number two, bringing up Emma Sells. Two balls, no strikes for Sells. Callie Watson is on deck. Warnock drops that one in for a strike.
There's a shot. And it's foul. Full count now for Emma Sells. Two outs, one on. And another one over to third. Four out, number three. So the zebras go down here in the bottom of the fifth. And the score remains Rochester nine, Northfield zero. For Rochester in the bottom of the fifth. No runs, one hit, one left on base, no errors. As we move into the sixth for Northfield, when we get back, it will be Pennington, Reif, and Crum up to bat. Be back here in just a moment. RTC TV4. All right, welcome back here. Moving into the sixth, the Zebras lead 9 1. And leading off for the Norse will be Pennington, the shortstop. She is one for two, had a single back in the first, popped up to the shortstop in the third. Yeah, how to shell remains on the mound here, on the mound, in the circle. It always gets me when people say on the mound for softball. There's no mound. It's a circle. So... Sounds like somebody's mowing the yard there in the background. Slap over to short. How to shell over in time for out number one. One pitch, one out. That'll bring up Kirsten Reif, the right fielder. Hope for two on the afternoon. Grounded out to second. Popped out to right. Little knuckler, that's trouble. Heinzman not able to field that one, and on with an E3 is Reif. I'll bring up Crumb. The third baseman is 0 for 2 on the afternoon as well. Grounded out to short, lined out to short. That one is popped up, coming in, and going out is how to shell. I was looking at uh, Sid Hawes going, coming in, and how to shell going out. So crumb, pop, fly to the shortstop will bring up the catcher Ella Hunter with two outs and one on for the Norse. Ooh, jammed her. That looked like it went off of the uh, face mask of Watson there. in on Ella's hands. Oh, and this is ball one. One ball, one strike to Hunter. The Northfield Norse of are the reigning 1A softball state champions from last year. Ella and her sister were a big part of that team. Her sister was the pitcher, she was the catcher. And the walk issued to Hunter. So 
So that will bring up Schreider with runners at first and second and two outs. Schreider has struck out both times up. How does Shell misses on that one high? Four strikeouts here on the afternoon for Mia Hattishell. Gets that one across the outside corner. One ball, one strike. Northfield has something going with runners at first and second here in the top of the six with two outs. And that one misses outside, two and one. And that walk loads the bases. So we have Alex Cartwright. Batting for Ainsley Dale. Cartwright is a junior for the Norse. Has a 2-0 count, two outs. Bases are loaded here in the top of the sixth. Over to How to Shell Grounder. So that one was dropped. I'm going to say a throwing error. So one run is crossed. Base is still loaded, still two outs. Ainsley Dale checks back in to run at first for Cartwright. And Ava Copeland, the first baseman, is up. There's a shot out into left, and the catch is made by Strasser for out number three. The Norse get one run in the top of the sixth. Had no hits. One error and three left on base for Northfield. As we move into the bottom of the sixth, it is Rochester nine and Northfield two. We'll be right back here on RTC TV4. So Watson leads off as we are in the bottom of the sixth. Zebra's leading nine to two. That one is popped out to center and caught for out number one. That'll bring up Emma Hattishell. Emma one for two with a walk. She singled and scored. Scored off of her walk. Singled and scored in the second. Grounded out to third in, in the third. That one is in for strike one.
And how to shell is aboard. One out single. And that will bring up the third baseman, Kylie Coleman. She walked, grounded out to third, and popped out to the left fielder. And way ahead on that one. Popped up and caught by Warnock. We're out number two. That'll bring up Sid Hawes with two on or one on and two outs. Hawes rocks one through the gap and so how does shell moves to third the obstruction call Hawes with the hit, she moves to second on the throw, so runners at second and third with two outs for Mia Hattishell. That one misses, ball one. Keaton Doran on deck. Hattishell has a single grounded out, reached on an error, scored in the third. No one misses outside. Two balls, no strikes. Adeshell's done a nice job for the Zebras in the circle tonight. Four strikeouts for Mia. Adeshell over to third. Out, not out. Now, out. Adeshell... Gets in a pickle at first. And scoring is Hawes. How does Shell still in a pickle? And slides in under the tag. What a what a sequence of events. Anyway, two runs score. How does Shell ends up over at second? I don't even know how to begin scoring that. Two runs across. <laughs> Hattishell the whole time was in between first and second. Hawes able to get in and it looked like she got tagged as she overran third base. Able to come back and get uh, down. <laughs> that was just a crazy play. I guess that was a fielder's choice. I think there might have been an error in there somewhere. Um, I'm not the official scorekeeper. Grounder over, and that is the third out. So the Zebras get two runs on two hits. Let's just call it that and leave one on. And I'm going to say one error. I don't know who to score that to by Northfield there in the uh, bottom of the sixth. After six here at Fansler, it is Rochester 11, Northfield 2. We'll come back for seventh inning action here in just a moment on RTC TV4. All right, the Zebras are three outs away from moving their TRC record to two and two. And moving their overall record to five and five, if they can get Northfield out here in the top of the seventh, 
They lead 11 to 2. Top of the lineup due up here for Northfield, Kowalchuk, Rosine, and Pennington. First pitch is high from Mia Hattershell. Chuck takes ball three, three and oh. Eddie Rosine on deck. That one in for a strike, three and one. Little knuckler over to second and caught there by Emma Sells. Four out, number one. Bring up center fielder Addie Rosine. Rosine one for three, pops that one out, and over to make the catch is Hawes. Out number two. That'll bring up the shortstop, Pennington. Pennington one for three on the day as well. Had a single in the first. Popped up to short. Grounded out to short. That one off. Two balls, one strike. Change up. Just misses. Three and one. And that was fouled out of play. Count goes full for Pennington. And the walk issued to Pennington. We'll bring up right fielder Kirsten Reif. 0 for 2 on the afternoon. Reached and scored on an error back in the sixth. Over to third, fair ball. Over to first, in time for out number three. And that will do it. That is your final score here tonight. The Zebras win 11-2 over the Northfield Norse. Rochester's regular season record moves to 5-5. Five and, five. and they move to 2-2 two two in the TRC Conference. <laughs>